Hey, this is Kevin Gutierrez, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the plugin Depleter. I think it's fantastic, one of the best to come out in quite some time. I messaged Alex and let him know that I think this is fantastic. It solves so many problems on snares and toms, and it will just make your life so much easier. It certainly has made my life a lot easier for sure. You can use it by just by dropping it on a track and setting your thresholds and be ready to go. I did that for a Paul McCartney sh uh, show live at ACL, 100,000 people there, and it cleaned up the snares and toms perfectly, even some of the crowd noise uh, at, at times, and it worked uh, just amazing just to drop it on and let it go. I certainly didn't want to add gates or draw out things in between Tom Tom tracks. I'm not sure that would have done really what I wanted it to do anyways, and Depleter worked perfect. Put it on and let it go. I didn't touch it. I literally did not touch it the entire show. Just fantastic for the for the mix. There's all the couple other ways that you can use it, which I have been kind of the next level of just dropping it on a track, and maybe they'll work for you the same way that they have for me. One, I've been uh, making a, a, a track and putting Depleter on uh, with a light threshold, and then uh, another track uh, with a depleter on a heavier threshold, and I commit both of those tracks um, with the bleeder on it. And then I'll just go through and pick and choose the sections that I like uh, better um, and just make a quick comp track. And at the end, I've got perfect results, absolutely perfect results. So that's one way you could do it by actually committing a, a light threshold and also committing a heavier threshold uh, track and then choosing. Um, another way to do it would be uh, actually committing those tracks or committing a track, let's say a snare uh, track, and then once you see your, your snare, then put on the gate after that. I don't do that quite so much, but there has been an occasion for snares and toms where I've just put the bleeder on just a little bit, and now the gates work perfectly um, if you want to do it that way. Yet another way to do it would be after you commit uh, the bleeder to a track is now you can start to see your tom tom tracks or your snares start to kind of come back to life, and then you can draw around them, and it will make your uh, basically the uh, the toms as they open up. You won't hear that big whoosh sound from this uh, cymbal, especially if a guy's really smashing hard into the cymbals or just happens to be a lot of cymbal bleed for whatever reason. Now the drawing of the stuff out before it and drawing around your your tom tom mics will really have much better results. There's one other way that uh, I've got to give credit to uh, Jeff Giuliano for messaging me about. He says, use it on your room mics. My drum room is fantastic. But in my drum room, what happens is if a guy's thrashing into cymbals a lot, um, my room mics, I turn them down because they turn into a lot of cymbals. With depleter, you can decrease those cymbals, and then now your kicks and snares uh, and toms uh, do exactly what you want them to, and my room mics are a lot more under control. So the bleeder is great on room mic. Just set it, get you know a little bit of that that uh, the the you know the ha harshness from the the cymbals out, and now you're ready to go, and you've got fantastic room mics. I hope those are some things that help you. Uh, the bleeder really is fantastic. I hope that you enjoy it because I'm using it on literally on every session now. So cheers, guys. 